A tropical storm Irene is now making its way through New England. We have a team of correspondents deployed along its path now and earlier. And we begin tonight with Wyatt Andrews in Mystic, Connecticut. Wyatt, good evening. Russ, good evening. Here in the Northeast, the threat all day, very first. The first threat from Irene was its extreme rains. Uh, that's the threat right now. They have gotten much worse, and it threatens flash flooding throughout all of the Northeast. 40 miles southwest of Albany, the town of Wyndham, New York, suffered a flash flood so severe, the fire chief said downtown Wyndham had been wiped out. This came after Irene dumped 10 inches of rain. Whole houses were uprooted and a school bus was pinned against trees. That 10 inch downpour and in some places one foot of rain have put flash flood warnings in effect tonight from Pennsylvania to Maine. Irene slammed the Northeast early this morning with hurricane force gusts, which drove a powerful storm surge inland at precisely the wrong time. This is the storm surge that struck southern New England. It was six to nine feet from southwestern Connecticut to the eastern tip of Massachusetts, and it came ashore right at high tide. For most of the morning, coastal Connecticut fell under several feet of water as high winds dropped hundreds of trees and an unknown number of power lines. But high tide was the worst of it. The storm surge disappeared as the tide receded. Besides the threat of the flash flooding tonight, all those fallen trees have left hundreds of thousands of New Englanders without power and full restoration of power is likely to take days. Russ. White Andrews in Mystic, Connecticut. Thank you very much.